Welcome back guys, we are back again with another tutorial and this one is super exciting. Um, I wanted to do this a while back but one of the methods sort of broke uh, within what I was trying to do. However, I've managed to make it work with something else so let's get into it. Obviously you've seen the title and today we're going to be creating a world using a world creator usually used for Java and we're going to be making it a bedrock map meaning that you can go on your Windows 10 computer or bedrock and you can then create um, a really awesome map which by the way also has experimental caves and cliffs this has been on uh, the version for like ages 1.12.2 it's had it and they actually look really similar we're going to be converting it to bedrock and also another thing that i want to add that is a really huge bonus is that i realized they actually generates the actual world in 1.18 or whatever your current version is already around what you generate or what you create which makes this even more super awesome now before i get started i've got uh, all the links for everywhere it's on my website head on over to minecraft go down to helpful links it's pretty self explanatory scroll down a little bit and you're going to find everything here world painter which is going to be one program that we're going to be using is there and then the second program is je2be uh, i've also got the link there and that's going to be taking you to the microsoft store just as a quick explanation um, and you do download it from this page here if you're 62 bit you get this one if you're 32 bit you get this one just go ahead and download it um, and this will basically be almost like you can see in the picture like a paintbrush to create your world you can create it however you like all the heights mountains different terrains you can actually download different stuff to give you different looking trees um, and different brushes however this is really awesome it's only for Java though that's the problem so what happens with bedrock well using my other helpful link right here we're gonna be heading over to the store to check this app out and it is a free app je2be now this is amazing for making Java maps into bedrock maps well, at this point you might be thinking, well, you know, World Paint, if you have ever experienced it, it's actually an older version, how's this going to work? Uh, we're on 118.1 plus at the moment, depending on when you see the video. How's this going to work? Well, I'm going to show you, so let's get into it. Oh, and another neat thing I wanted to point out on my site, I've added a different, uh, few different languages here. So just in case English isn't your first language, you're struggling to uh, read some of the tutorials, you can go ahead and change. I just thought I'd add that in. So first things first is we're going to start up World Painter. Now obviously you might want to watch a few tutorials, you might want to have a bit of practice, make a really awesome world. We're just going to be making something very distinct just so we know that that is the world that we created. And again if you haven't seen this before it is very cool. You can basically create anything you want. You can create the map differently, you can make a void around it, you can make it lava around it. And you can basically just go ahead and use your brushes to create uh, terrain. You can raise or lower the height limit, um, flatten it, smoothen it, you know add flood, uh, add lava flood spray paint because you have different terrains and anyway, I'm not going to make too much of a tutorial about this itself but what we're going to do is just show you that it works obviously that will then be up to you if you want to go ahead learn a bit more about this I might make another tutorial in the future uh, but you can just go ahead and create something yourself and then upload it up to bedrock for you to play and again don't forget as I said earlier the way I'm going to do it now actually means that you will be able to play for the latest version and also not only that it will load up the latest version around what you generated so if I generate this square right here it means that everything around it is going to be in the latest version, which is pretty cool. So let's just start off uh, something really easy. My spawn point is this little uh, red X right here. I'm just going to make a massive hill right next to it just so we can't really not spot it. Uh, on the bottom left of my screen, you can see the height. So we're currently about 150. Let's go up to about 200. Something really noticeable. Uh, straight in the line there. Very nice. Now let's just spawn. Let's spray a bit of terrain on. What do we want? Uh, lava flowing? Absolutely not. Uh, gravel. Let's go for some lime stained terracotta. So we're going to spray this whole entire area. It's going to be pretty hard to miss. It's a pretty flat area with one huge thing pointing out the ground. Now what we are going to do is we're going to go over to file. We're going to go save world. Call your world something. I'm just going to call it bedrock test 2 because obviously I have a bedrock test 1 and we're going to save that there. Now next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to file. We're going to go to export and we're going to go to export as a new Minecraft map. Here you're going to get a few more choices um, about how you want the world to generate. I'm just going to change this to creative and allow cheats just so I can just fly around and just see it. And you have other cool options here like caves um, and caverns. If you click this you will get the beta caves caverns and chasms as well throughout the map so let's just click that on for the fun of it it's actually pretty cool to be fair uh, it's actually very very similar to the 118 generation in fact sometimes it's actually even better so try that out resources i'm going to click resources anywhere um anyway we're not going to go too far into this uh, let's just go to export oh and one more thing as well 
Um, obviously, as you can see here, we've got 1.1, we've got Minecraft 1.2. Uh, you do have Experimental 1.17, but the way I found the best was to do it in Minecraft 1.15 or later, um, and then just using the method that uh, we did, it will just be able to go over um, in a nice updated version to Bedrock. Oh, and this will take uh, really depending on how big the map is. I mean, mine will probably take about 40 seconds or so because it's not very much. Uh, you can obviously make a much bigger map. You can make a smaller one. Uh, you might have lots of blocks and trees and other entities. So that would just uh, that would just take a little bit longer. And just as a point of reference, do check out the time on the bottom right of my screen and just see exactly how short of a time I actually managed to do this whole process. As you can see here, we've done 4,009 blocks or 409,000 blocks. Uh, let's press OK. We can actually go ahead and close this down now. Uh, hit save if it does tell you to save. Although weirdly we did save. Now search for your JE2BE app and open that up. On your list here, as long as you made it on your Java account, you're going to find that particular world. As you can see there, I've got Bedrock Test 2 because this links in to your worlds. It's very cool. Um, in fact, if you do want to check more out on this, I'll leave a link popping up now on the screen um, and that will show you how to pretty much do this, but with a bit more detail. So anyway, let's go to start. That was done extremely quickly because obviously there wasn't much on the file and we're going to go to save into Minecraft uh, 10 save folder. Uh, I just want to mention as well, so I did forget to mention earlier um, at the start when I clicked from here, you can actually select from other directories as well. So this is if you have it saved as another file somewhere and it's not specifically on your world. Either way, that is actually it. We're now done. So let's just uh, go ahead and make sure that it works. Now, as we load up Bedrock Minecraft, I just want to remind you guys, a like or a subscribe is extremely appreciated. Since I hit the 500 goal not so long ago, we want to push it now to 600. That would be really awesome. Um, either way, now we're on Bedrock and we're going to go ahead to play. From play, you're going to see, um, obviously, your world and it's going to have a little sort of darker screen because you haven't actually spawned in yet. Once you do spawn in, you will see a screen as you can see in the Bedrock test one of it. Um, you can also see the size and let's just head in to make sure that that really weird mountain is actually just there. Now we've spawned in and what do we have here a really weird uh, lime green terracean mountain but it is here and as you can see um, actually you can't see right now <laughs> but um, let me minimize this and you can see the time as well um, it's really just taken me like a matter of minutes to do this whole thing uh, so one thing to point out is obviously this is what we uh, generated so obviously we've got our hill we've got all the land that generated around us um, and then outward from that which is the really cool thing as well is you're going to find that this is now generated in 1.18.1 or whatever version you have because it only generated up until that line uh, what of course we brought over from the map so everything over here is going to be brand new not only that because you're auto populated you do get some of the really awesome uh, chasms and cliffs you will have to go near it if it does seem a bit buggy like this just literally come near it it will update the block um, and that'll be it for the obviously the generated bit and yeah as you can see this is actually just on the beta caves they look pretty cool so you can actually have quite a fun time uh, roaming around here and exploring so thanks for watching guys if you do want any more videos like this or potentially any more videos or tutorials on world painter especially now that you know that you can put it up on bedrock um, just leave it down in the comments let me know what you'd want to know or anything specific and uh, I'll make sure to make a video about it so thanks for watching again don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.